Hey guys, Professor Doni back. We have our race car with stripes going around yet another corner here as we continue to look at circular motion. We're going to use the same data we had in the last problem. We had the mass of car of 1,000. Uh, however, we're going to switch the coefficient up to be only 0 0.4. That's more uh, representative of not perfect tires or perfect road. And um, velocity of 30, we're still entering a little about 66 miles an hour and a radius of 100. And we're going to find these things down here in pink. The friction we need to make the corner. And then obviously we'll ask the question, do we make the corner? And then see if we don't make it, what's the velocity we need to drive? So that'll be the new velocity, if you can read that. All right, so we look at it, we go through a free body diagram again. We're going to have the same thing, mg down, f of n up comes out to be f of n equals 9800 and you can see the previous video on why we did that and we can find out how much friction we have based on the weight of that car and the coefficient because that comes from the f u n equation, the fun equation 0 0.4 9800 and if I take 9800 times 0 0.4 it gives me 3920 newtons that's how much friction we have available. I mean, that's the most we can have based on the mass of this car and the coefficient of friction. The only way to have more weight or friction or traction, since we're driving, we typically call it traction, is to make the car heavier, put some sand in the back, some center blocks if it's a pickup truck, put more people in it, or find a way to increase this coefficient, whether you use a lot better tires or if it's snowy, put chains on the tires, things like that. All right, so that's just fine, the generic stuff, whether we need it or not, we'll see. All right, friction to make it. What is it really asking here? The, freq the friction to make it is finding out how much force of friction on our car to go that fast around that radius. So when we solve Newton's second law for circle motion, Newton's second law circle motion. All right, there's my, what do they call those acronyms? Um, force of friction is what causes it to go in a circle. It is pushed, pointing towards the center. Force of friction, so it's a radial, it's a tripodal force. And how much friction do we need? Well, we just put the numbers in, there's a thousand. We're going at 30 squared, don't forget that, radius of 100, and that still comes out to be 9,000 newtons. So what do we need to make it? 9,000 newtons. Is that a lot? Well, let's see much how much we have. Earlier, we calculated how much friction we have available based on the mass weight of the car and the coefficient of friction. That's all we got. We can't increase it unless we change the car or change our traction tire coefficient, tires in the road. So, do we make it? Well, if we need 9,000 and I only have 3920, I am not gonna make it. You're gonna enter that corner and we'll try to turn, but what happens is the car will not have enough friction to keep it going in a circle, so Newton's first law says an object in motion will remain in motion. It will continue and go off the corner there. So it won't make the turn into the wall if you're NASCAR. All right, so what about, um, so there's a big no. So how fast can we go into that corner? Well, we're gonna still use Newton's second law for circular motion. The friction we're gonna use now is the 3920, because that's how much we have available based on our car and the coefficient. Put the thousand in there. That's V squared, the radius is still 100. Oop, let's get rid of that last one. 100 velocity is going to equal the square root of what's that 10 392 and 392 square roots 19.8 meters per second that's uh, I don't know 42 miles an hour so instead of entering at 66 miles an hour originally we really have to slow down the 42 to be able to just make that corner based on the friction. Now there are other things that affect this a little bit, but really that's the basics. I hope that helps you with looking at friction and cars going around. I got one more circular motion video. We're going to talk about pulling G's, so we'll see you here in a moment.